If you've been following a keto or low carb diet for any length of time, you know you can make a pizza crust out of some pretty bizarre ingredients, at least for a pizza crust. You can use hamburger meat, you can use canned chicken, you can use mozzarella cheese, you can use Parmesan cheese, you can use baby seals. Well, maybe not baby seals, but you get the point. Sometimes you just want a traditional-ish, semi-traditional, pizza hut-ish, more traditional pizza. There's a lot of low carb pizza crusts out there and I've tried the best and I've tried the rest and there's one that definitely stands out and I'm gonna show you which one that one is today as well as show you how I like to make my pizzas because although I love a good pizza, sometimes you just want a good pizza. Stick around. <music> There's just nothing like a great pizza. It checks all the boxes. You got the cheesy goodness, the sauce, the toppings that you love, and it's just plain delicious. So in trying all the different crusts out there, there's a lot of them with cardboardy textures or too chewy, not chewy enough, not the right bite, not the right mouth feel, but this is the perfect crust. It holds up just like a regular pizza crust. You can put the toppings you want on it. You can cook it just like you would a regular pizza. And I think you're really gonna love it. I'll put a link down below where you can buy it. They come in a two pack. So make sure and pick up two or three of those because you're gonna wanna have at least one every week. So get all your favorite toppings together. I'm gonna get mine together right now. So put on your favorite movie or TV show and let's have a pizza night. So here's the ingredients you're gonna need for this keto pizza. Low moisture, part skim mozzarella cheese. I would recommend the fresh basil. You can use dried if you want, but it's not gonna be the same. Some extra virgin olive oil. You're gonna need some of my marinara sauce, or you can use your favorite marinara sauce. You're gonna need some fresh mozzarella cheese, some Roma tomatoes, some chopped onions, some bacon, a little bit of salt. And the most crucial ingredient that you need is the great low carb bread company, pizza crusts. If you want to succeed in making a great keto pizza, you got to have this crust. So these crusts come in a two pack. So take one out and you want to let it defrost for about 30 minutes before you bake it. Half of this pizza is going to be margarita. The other half is going to be bacon and onion. So once this is thawed, I'm going to show you how to put this together. I'm going to prep all these ingredients and we'll come back and make this pizza. So for the bacon and onion portion of this, I'm gonna go ahead and cook this to about 75%. So if you were gonna put this in for seven minutes, put it in for about five and a half. I'm gonna basically have it cooked, but not all the way. All the ingredients are prepped. So let's put this pizza together. I'm gonna to take a pizza pan, spray it down with some good olive oil spray. I'm going to cook this in the oven at 400 degrees for about five minutes. So this crust is baked in the oven for five minutes. And we're going to go ahead and take one ladle full of sauce and put it on there and spread it out. You don't want a lot of sauce. You don't want it to get soggy. So just a thin layer there and then we'll put on the toppings. So we're going to go over the whole pizza with some low moisture mozzarella shredded. That's going to form that nice cheese pull when you cut it. And that's some Parmesan and mozzarella we're putting on there. You don't have to do that. Normally we just do fresh mozzarella and the low moisture mozzarella. We're going to put tomatoes on half of it. And then some fresh mozzarella on top. Now, if you're liking this pizza video and you want to see more like it, subscribe right down there and you'll know anytime I upload a new video. We shredded that up also. Just to make it a little easier, you can just cut it into rounds and put the rounds on top too, but this really makes it melt really well. Then we're putting some onions on there for this half that's onion and bacon. We want to sprinkle on some bacon, some fresh basil. And then we're going to drizzle the whole 
pizza with some good olive oil. We'll put it back in the oven on 400 degrees for about five to seven more minutes. And I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. So this pizza is all done. I'm gonna move it over. And I'll show you why this is the best keto pizza crust you can get. Now I like to finish it with a little bit of a good olive oil. And on my half, I like a little bit of crushed red pepper. It has a nice crispy crust. Which you're not going to get from a fathead dough or any of the other keto crusts out there. All right, so let's try this and see how it is. Mmm. Mm-hmm. That is a good pizza. Next time you want a standard American pizza, but you don't want to go into carb overload, try that crust out. You are absolutely going to love it, and you won't have to use any weird ingredients, and you'll get that traditional pizza feel. Now, if you want to know how I make my pizza sauce, I'm going to put the video right over here so you can watch that one next. Or if you've had this recipe for the last few nights and you're pizzaed out, I'll put a playlist at the end of a lot of different recipes, including my chicken alfredo, which is always a hit. Thank you all so much for watching. Keep it keto, and I'll see you in the next video.